Hey there everyone, today we will discuss Figma, the awesome design tool and how you can convert your design into code using the incredible Locofy plugin. So let's dive right in. Figma is an amazing cloud-based design platform that allows you to create stunning user interfaces, wireframes, prototypes and so much more. It's user-friendly and packed with powerful features. To access Figma and start designing, you need to log into your account. Open the web browser, navigate to the Figma website and complete the simple sign-in process by clicking on Get Started for free. And then log in with the help of your Google account. And once it's done, you're logged in to your Figma account and ready to start designing and use Figma templates to convert them into code. I have a project here that is named a fintech landing page, which I will use for this video. You may have your recent projects here if you have used Figma or it will be empty. I will leave the link for this project in the description so you can follow with me or you can even choose the project you want. Now let's open this project. Once you're inside your project, you will see a white canvas where you can create your design. Figma offers a wide range of design tools like shapes, text, images and more, which you see on the top bar. Feel free to explore them and experiment with them. One of the coolest features of Figma is its collaborative functionality. You can invite team members to work on the same project, leave comments and make changes in real time. It's perfect for teamwork. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to convert your awesome design into code using the Locofy plugin. Ready? Let's go. First, let's install the Locofy plugin. Right click on the canvas and now you will see the plugin option. And as you will see here that I already have the Locofy plugin installed, but if you don't have it, no worries. Click on the find more option and here search all plugins. So search for Locofy and you will see this option. Click on it and you will have the install button here and install this. After the installation of Locofy plugin is done, run the Locofy plugin. You will see a pop-up that will ask you to sign in to Locofy. Complete the process and run the Locofy plugin again and now you will see this pop-up which says welcome to Locofy. So let's create a new project and give the project the name which you want. Here I'm just going to say web Figma and then choose the framework which you prefer like React, HTML, CSS, Next.js or the one you prefer. I'm going with React. Then we will have other code settings such as TypeScript or JavaScript. I'm going with TypeScript and the style guides you can use CSS modules, CSS, Tailwind and many more options you have here. So I'm going with Tailwind. It's according to your own preferences. Then units, I'm going with pixels and file naming, I'm going with Pascal case. And then let's click on the create button. And after this, now at the top, you will see your project name. To get the preview of how this website will look on desktop, you have to select the layer and then click on the preview button. And then we will have another pop-up that will generate the preview. We also have various steps here that we can follow to practice clean code. Step one is to optimize the design. So let's just click on this. And now as you will see, it took us to the another pop-up and let's just click on this once again, optimize design. What this essentially does is it will remove unnecessary groups and frame, convert groups into frame, will apply best practices for images and rectangles and much more. We can do this by clicking on fix button and, and then you have to fix each one of the problems one by one. But you can also fix them all together by clicking on fix all. After this is done, you will see that it gave the message which says this layer has been converted. Okay. It has applied the best practices for image. Then you can structure the frame better and you can go through this one by one. Okay. So let's click on done with the screen. After we are done here, the next step is to tag the interactive elements such as buttons and drop downs. So let's click on tag. And now in this design, as you will see, we have a button here which says consultation. So let's click on it. And now you will see that it selected the layer named button. And then when you scroll, you will see the basic tags here. This layer is the button. So let's click on button. And then it will ask us to select a UI library. 
material UI and design bootstrap chakra or none so I'm going with none choose the one you prefer and after it's done let's click on the done button and you will see it's generating the preview so when we hover on consultation button it will give us the pointer cursor you can take many other layers too like when you click on this logo it will take you the main page or when you click on this burger menu it will give you the nav bar so this is what the tag interactive element does after we are finished with tag interactive element the next step is to edit styling and layout and fix the responsiveness of different layers you can select the layers and customize them for different media queries like when you are on a tablet or on the mobile phone you want to change the background color of this website for some reason or you can add the pre-built effects like fade in, slide in, scale up, flip and many more. So I'm leaving this up to you. You can choose whatever you want to do here. And then let's click on done. And the next step is to add the on-click action. We usually use this when we have a button on the form or any other button in particular through which we want to call an action that will take the visitors to some another page or anything like you can scroll into view change the page open url which is external and not in your website open pop-up close pop-up or toggle drawer you can even call apis for anything you want okay so after you are done here click on the done button and now the next step here we have is to sync to locofy builder Let's convert this design to go. Select the layer and click on Sync to Locofy Builder. And now it gave us a project which we are currently working on. And it gave us the framework which we are using, React, and then other code settings which we did earlier. We selected TypeScript as our language and then for styling we selected Tailwind. But for some reason, if you want to change it, you can even change it from here. Let's say CSS and then we click on Done. And then let's click on start syncing and now it's syncing the code to builder and now our code is ready let's click on view code in builder and see this is pretty amazing right it converted the design into code and generated the code so as you see that now our code is ready you can either download it on your local machine or you can even deploy it directly to Netlify, Virtual or even GitHub pages. So let's download this code and run it on our machine. And it says that they found six components to help improve code quality. So let's review this and then click on accept all. Yes, accept all. Okay. And once it's done, let's click on confirm code export. It's preparing the zip file for us. And now the code has been exported. And you will see here we have the zip file of this project extract all of these components from your files folder and once you have extracted all the code from your zip file open that in vs code and as you will see we have public folder which has all the components it needed and in source folder it generated all of the code it needed and in pages it will have the css so now let's open the terminal and run the command npm i to install all the dependencies that are mentioned in package.json file and now after all the dependencies are installed let's run the command npm start and it will start the development server and look it logged the message that this website is running on the port 3000 so let's control plus click on this it will take you to the localhost 3000 this looks pretty amazing, right? And now if you remember that we tag this consultation layer as a button. So when we hover over it, it definitely give us the pointer cursor. But we didn't did same with this burger menu and it does not do anything as of right now. You can do much more than this. That's the magic of Locofy. And there you have it. Converting Figma designs into code made easy with the incredible Locofy plugin. But while doing all of this, it also generated some errors. So we have to look into it carefully. Okay, so don't just depend on Locofy to convert your design into code. You have to have the knowledge about how React works and how you can solve these problems. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Also let me know in the comments if you have any doubts.
and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye and happy coding